What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. Today we're going to be doing a power steering delete. Everything is removed out of the engine bay. Look how clean and shiny this looks. This engine compartment. But either way, I came up with the idea. I usually loop. I didn't come up with this, but I usually loop the power steering. You guys can see this line and this line right here. They're the ones that go into the into the rack and pinion down here. So one's your feed and one's your return line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop it. But this time we're gonna change things up a little bit. Cause I'm gonna be adding a T fitting with the line that's gonna run up to a reservoir. That way I can fill up this whole thing with fluid and know that it always has fluid in there. So I'm going to go ahead, throw some clamps on there. And I'm not going to put any fluid on this yet. I'm just going to let it sit right there for now. I went ahead. I put the T down there. I put hose clamps on everything. And I send the line up this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little reservoir right up here somewhere right here so for the power steering delete that's pretty much done all i gotta do is set it up up there and add some power steering um i'm gonna go ahead and get my motor mounts and move some of these lines around and start reassembly so we got the motor mounts in on both sides we got this guy that holds the reservoir that i took it off i got the ground cable hooked up right here again um when i painted this engine bay i left that bolt in that way it would leave the metal underneath bare and i wouldn't have any grounding problems this time i did the same thing with this one as you can see the bolt is still in so once i back that bolt out it should be there should be no paint under that um the t bracket that goes in the back i just went ahead and i laid uh some paint with i'm using this right here metallic charcoal so i laid some paint down and it's drying right now as soon as that's completely dry, I'll go ahead and get it on here. And I don't know if I had told you guys, but when I removed the engine out of Nesquik, I took it apart in sections. I took the head off, I took the block off, the transmission off, and all that stuff. So everything's in pieces right here. We got the block over here. The short block i did examine everything and everything looks pretty good um when i drained the oil i checked for any shavings or anything and there really wasn't anything there should have been at least a little bit of shavings since this is a brand new um engine there should have been a little bit of shavings i was expecting a little bit of a sparkle in there just a sparkle but there was not so what we're gonna do is reassemble the short block and this transmission we're not gonna be using that one 
that's the one with the short gears. This one's the one with the long gears. So we're gonna be using the one with the long gears. And we are actually gonna be assembling that together and we are gonna go ahead, slide her under. Cause I do wanna get this car rolling again so I could spin it around and have it facing this way and maybe right in the middle right here. That way I can have a lot more room instead of being in that little corner working on this, you know? Um, another thing, I do wanna pull the car this way cause I want the sun to hit it, to hit that engine bay so we could see exactly what, what kind of a sparkle it's gonna have. So let's go ahead and while we wait for that, let's put this short block and transmission together. I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe drag it to here to the middle. Really quick. And then the transmission will probably just stay right here also. Actually, let me see. Let me spin this. We're actually going to spin this the way how it's going to go in. Like that. And the transmission, let me see if you guys can see that way. Yeah, you guys can. I wasn't sure if you guys could just see this, but the camera's picking everything up. transmission we're just going to go ahead and lay it on this side and maybe lay like a brick lay a brick underneath so we can raise it up a little bit so we got these guys in there. Always make sure you have these on each side. Otherwise you'll run into a problem. And I think I'm gonna lay a brick just to raise it up a little bit. I thought I needed a brick, but there's already a brick under there. You guys can see it right there. That's going to level my engine up a little bit. Um, there's five bolts that go to this, which I have right here. And when you assemble the transmission, let's say that you're assembling your flywheel. You get your flywheel on there and you put your clutch and everything. You're going to need this tool right here. I have two of them. So this is your alignment tool. That's going to keep your clutch nice and straight. So that's your alignment tool. That's what tells you that everything's nice and straight and that it's going to line up with this shaft once everything's good. So now the only thing that's missing before I assemble this is the throwout bearing, which I do not have on this right here. I believe it's actually in this transmission over here. Yup, it's right there. So we're gonna go ahead and sneak this one off right here. This was a brand new throwout bearing. So we're gonna go ahead and install it over here. And 
actually, let me go ahead and install this guy first. bearing is in um, you could put a little bit of grease if you guys want in the back right here you could also put a little bit of grease over here in the back of this of this piece and that's gonna help everything with the smoothness of it going back and forth so right now I'm gonna go ahead and get it installed I don't have any grease so what I did is, I used a little bit of penetrating oil, rubbed it on my fingers, rubbed it on the shaft, rubbed it behind the bearing, rubbed it on this little bump of right here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just put the shaft through here and put the bolts on. I just went ahead and I added a second brick right here to make this guy sit a little bit taller. And now I'm just gonna pick up the engine, not the engine, the transmission, and smoothly put the shaft through. And then line up everything. There it is. So, bolts go through. And you can see that there's still a little bit of a crack right here. So once I start to tighten these, these bolts, it'll pull everything together. Remember it's five of them. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna go ahead and use the impact. Not all the way but just to get everything together. So everything's getting pulled nice and tight together. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to tighten these. And that's pretty much it. Transmission is back on the engine. Um, I'm gonna look for the starter and we'll go ahead and install the starter also in here. Get it mounted already. There is one more bracket that runs underneath the transmission. As you can see, all these bolts are from here to over here that tie in the transmission to the engine. The other bracket goes underneath and it goes around and up to this side, kind of like a half a moon, which is actually this bracket that's... Um, I do have to clean that up 
that's the reason also why I'm not installing it right now. But just to clarify, this bracket does go to the transmission, from the transmission to the engine block. And it gives it a little bit more support. Here is the starter. It has two bolts, a short one and a long one. I believe the long one goes on top. The short one goes at the bottom, but we will find out right now. I might be wrong. The long one might go at the bottom. Yep. And the short one goes on top. And these are going to be a 14. There you go, starters in. And this is pretty much ready. All right, you guys, this is gonna be the end of the video right here. Um, in my next video, I'll probably be installing this into the Civic. So remember, if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't hit the like button, go ahead and hit it now. And I will catch you guys on my next video till then. Peace out, stay safe, catch you guys later.